Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Broadacres, the unrealistic series set on the massive 16 times map in Australia. So here is the situation at the moment. We've got our four seeders working in field 15. We've got one seeder working in field 18. We've got the big bud here with the tiny little great plain seeder on the back of it, planting carrots diligently here in field 14. And then we've got combines and so on. We've got a uh, combine up in field three and we've got three combines in field five. So we're going to go and just check on those first because I haven't actually set them going at the beginning of this episode like I was going to. And then we're going to go down and we're going to see how things are going down the bottom. The reason I put these going is because I'm going to put that to normal. Then I'm going to go and I'm going to start cutting. I just want to see if it will actually cut the crop at a full 84k. And at the moment it looks like it's going to. So I'm going to bring this one all the way up to the top and then we're going to set this one which is going to change the angle and it's going to start going off across that way. Um, at least that's the plan so I can stop there. Right, it has just left a little bit there. So what I'm thinking to do is I'm going to slow the speed down to about 40k because I think that will probably be okay. Um, we'll see. Uh, so let me just set that one going there and then we can start slowing it down now if I slow it down to start with to 50k we got the other one going at 30 because it just it was leaving too much but maybe this will work a little bit better I don't know it might just be the visual is not leaving it behind but it is actually leaving it behind so we'll bring it down to 40k which is a little bit more slow and sedate and I'll start this one up and I'm going to do the same with this one I'm just going to bring that one into normal mode and then Press H and let it go flying up across the field here until it reaches the top. And then I'm going to set this one going sideways across the field. I'm going to try and put that one somewhere in. Actually, I'm going to teleport this one down to the bottom of the map. Once this one gets up to the top end, we'll then teleport it to the bottom. And that one can start working backwards and forwards across the bottom of the map. And the other one from where it is can just start heading across the field. Because I think that's actually going to be big enough gap. Um... You know, I'm thinking that the 80-odd K is probably all right. We could probably do them at 50K, and it's not going to be a problem with this um, with this crop. Just because there's, there seems to be like less of it, so it doesn't seem to actually be causing any problem. It might do a little bit of a glitch again here on the end, like it did just now. Nope, nothing. No problems. Okay, I'm going to stop you. I'm actually going to swing this one round, and I'm going to just manually chop that little tiny bit there. Just to... There we go. Start that and get that bit out of the way right now I'm going to take this one and I'm going to make that a little bit bigger and I'm going to teleport this down to the bottom down here like that make the map small again and we carry on my question for this week we have got to be planting lots and lots of barley uh, in order to keep our pigs healthy and happy because we're going to be going for 25,000 pigs on this map so we've got these two massive great big fields down here. We've got field 13 that we already own, and we've got field 9 right down the bottom down here. So which one do you think I should plant with barley? Should it be field 13 right next to the carrots here, or should it be down here, field 9 down there at the bottom? It's your vote. It's your game. Head into the comment section down below. Let us know which one you want and why. And, of course, don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right-hand corner. And, yes, I know it's not actually much of a question this week. Um, I decided to just go for something nice and simple this time to, to sort of keep it easy. Um, now, I'm just going to change over. It's not unfolding the combine, which is a problem. It says that I first need to unfold and it's not letting me do it if I go into there maybe if I change it back to the AI vehicle extension it'll do it Let's see no it's just going to read the field now I gotta let it run let me just let it run through this I want to see if I can get it to unfold there's going to be a slight issue I might actually have to empty this one out first I mean we can do that because we do have something ready to do that with but I'd rather not yet. I'd rather let these things fill up completely first. All right, I didn't like that. But right, I'm pressing X. It's not letting me unfold. So I'm going to try putting the spout out. And I'm going to see if that's going to let me do it then. If I go there. It doesn't like you to fold or unfold when it's got crop in the machine. So if I go back to there and go to normal again. Um, 
I'll bring that up. I think we're going to actually have to empty this one out in order to get it to work. Press H. Yeah, it's absolutely not having it, is it? I'm going to slow that speed down to 50. I shall, I'll put it down to 40k because that's what the other one is. But this is not having it, is it? So I'm just going to have to leave that one for a minute. We'll go to this one here and we'll change this one again. It's going to go to the standard AI rather than anything fancy. And we'll bring this one in round here like this. And I'm just going to start this one going straight in across here. Now, can we do this at 50? I'm going to run this one at 50k because the other two I've set to 40k. This one here is not doing anything at the moment and this one's doing 40k. 40 is pretty good and it doesn't seem to be leaving anything at the moment. So we will keep a close eye on it. This one here, however, we are going to have to empty out. So we'll go like this and we'll bring this one over to this side of the map and we've got our conveyor belts. Now, I haven't actually checked on the conveyor belts to see if they are any good, to see if they've come apart. Um, it doesn't look like they have actually. It looks like they've all stayed in position exactly as we wanted. That is absolutely brilliant. That is beautiful. That is a thing of beauty right there. That is wonderful. Okay, let me leap out of here if I can. There we go. And I'm going to go a little bit faster so we can run along and look at all of these conveyor belts. That is fantastic. They're ab that's brilliant. So they are all in position and they've all stayed locked together. I'm curious if you'd like me to do a lot more of this. I, I realize I spent all of yesterday's episode working on these. I do still have some back at the yard, which I was considering doing something with. Uh, those are doing okay. And there. So, yeah, I was actually considering lining all of these up as well with it. So I'm curious now. Would you like me to spend another episode next week doing just adding more and more and more of these? Or is that really quite, you know, have we done enough? I could, I could do this for another episode if you want next week. I'm not going to do it this week. Now, I did say before that I um, would actually consider it. But I'm now thinking it's probably not a good idea to go and do this for yet another episode without first finding out if you want me to. Because, quite frankly, it could get extremely boring just watching this over and over and over so what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring this one up into place and as soon as this one is up into place and we've locked this one in i'm going to get a one a conveyor belt that will actually load into a trailer we're going to bring that one down and we're going to get the toll road train down here as well so that i can load into these although getting the toll road train into position is not going to be quite so easy as dealing with these so I'm going to lift that one up there, and then this one we want to just bring up again like we have been doing. I'm going to lift that one up to about there, and then if I join that one on, it does just lift some of the others up a little bit. But they seem to have sort of reached an equilibrium quite nicely there, having logged out and logged back in again. So that does actually seem to be a bonus. It does seem to get them in a better position for this um, whole shenanigans that we've got going on here. Uh... So what do I move the stuff in? Now, I've got some trailers that are high capacity. And I could just use one of those for now and then go for a road train next week. Now, where is my high capacity trailers? I'm pretty sure that was... That's the one there. That one there is a high capacity trailer. Eight and a half million litres. So we go for that one for now, I think. And uh, I did have another one here somewhere. I don't think... No, it wasn't that farm tech. That's 26,000. It was a blue one, wasn't it? I know that I've got another one. It don't think it was that one. Nope. It was... No, it wasn't the Penta. I definitely have one. So I must not have got the mod active on this map. Oh, no, it wasn't that one either. I'm sure it was a Marshall, actually. It was the one that I was using in the other map, in the Texas map. I used it a few times in there, right? It's definitely not on here, but we do have the farm tech here, which is actually minus $1.7 million. So what we do is we buy this one, it gives us $1.7 million, and then when we want to sell it, we've got to pay money for them to take it away. But we actually pay less than we pay for it, So th than they give us. So it actually works out quite nicely if we do this one. Um, so I'm going to select that one, and we're going to go main color. Oh, that's a bit dull. Um, we'll just go for main color then, right? And we'll just do it exactly like it is right now. So we'll buy that one. Yes, minus 1.7. That gives us money. And then if we go to the garage and I look for that trailer here a minute, we've got loads of those grim conveyor belts there. 
and I come down through here where is the trailer that I just bought come on trailer it's got to be here somewhere I want this trailer that I just bought because I want to have a look at ah, there it is minus 1.3 million dollars so I lose 1.3 million dollars if I sell it um, which means that we've profited four hundred thousand dollars just from buying and selling this trailer right here um, yes absolutely 100% realistic as always just like we do everything else on this map 100% realism that's what we go for here ladies and gentlemen always 100% realism and where is my Z uh, rolling in that's the one that I want the rolling in. we're going for standard wheels Re yeah we can go for we'll go for standards because I don't want to get stuck in the corner so um, I don't want to get stuck I don't want to nudge those um, belts at all uh, I want that one. Oh, there's one other that I want as well. I actually want one of these belts here, uh, that one, because I need this one in order to um, put on the end of the train of belts. And this is one I'm actually not going to do anything else with. Um, bring it through here. I'll quickly find it. So I want to go there. And yeah, what I, I'm not going to connect this one into the line of belts. I'm just going to leave this one kind of loose on its own because... Uh, you know, unhitching it again at the end of it is going to be extremely difficult because it, it doesn't seem to sort of work very easily with um, having them all connected. So I'm just going to do it like that. Start that one going forward. And then I can lift this one up into the air. It doesn't actually have to lift very high because the the one that we've got coming down is, um, is quite a small trailer. So it's not going to really make any difference. So we're going to get this one onto the end. And then we'll get that trailer down here and we'll get that underneath the end of this conveyor belt. And then we'll get that combine and start unloading it. I don't know if we have to unload anywhere and just stick it in a heap. Although we got 100,000 litres of grain there, which is going to be a massive amount. Remember, these conveyor belts are exceptionally slow. If I can figure out how to do a mod conversion, so extract this out of the game and turn it into a mod, I might be able to change the speeds and all kinds of things with these conveyor belts. I don't know. That's, a, that's something that we might be able to play with next week if I could get it to work and also if you guys want me to sort of have a mess around with anything so let me just park that one right there and stop and then we want to go to our rolling up here start this one up and get that trailer on so we've got an eight and a half million litre trailer which is going to be more than enough to cope with the little bits that we've got so I can back that up onto there and that's ready to go I could actually I was just thinking I could just go and alter the um, machine and do that in the base game files. I think I could actually do that. Um, if I was to alter the conveyor belts in the base game files rather than um, try and do it somewhere else, that might actually work. And the reason that I could do that, I, I'm not, there's absolutely no way I'm going to be doing that with most of the stuff, but I could, I think, do it with the conveyor belts because I got, I'm not going to be using conveyor belts in the Sandy Bay series. Or the um, Estancia Lapacho series. Um, I'm not using conveyor belts in either of those series. We've done conveyor belts for realism before. They are very slow. They're not particularly interesting. So I figure that if I alter the game file, obviously altering the game files is a whole different ball game. You, you're sort of getting into a bit dangerous territory there. Obviously, I'll keep it all backed up so that um, we're not going to run into any serious issues. But I could alter the base game files. I think that then I could modify these to increase speed and maybe even increase the length. I don't know about increasing the length of them though. That might be a little bit more difficult. Um, but I could certainly increase their speed and um, you know, the speed that they drive along. So it's a lot easier to kind of get them into position. And I could also increase the amount of um, the, the capacity of them. So like the... Um, uh, the amount per minute that they are unloading because at the moment that the speed that they unload is is particularly slow So we're gonna run all the way back down through this line down here, and we're gonna jump into this combine and If I start you up I want to open it out it Let me do it. Nope. I need to go like that and then open it out right now I want to just bring that one over the top. I think if I bring it over the conveyor belt, it will actually just start loading. No, it won't. Okay, I thought it would, but it won't do it. It's... Oh, no, no, no. I think I can do it by putting it over the other conveyor belt. 
think I can. Yes, I can. I can put it onto the other conveyor, but it, start, it did think about doing it then. So if I swing it around like that, there, I have to back it up a little bit. There we go. Oh, no, nope, that's not in the right place. Actually, that is in the right place. Right, that is ready there. So it's going to be in, it's going to be in the right place. So that will start unloading. So I come over here, I can jump out, and then all I got to do is get this conveyor belt here into the right place. And that is just a case of, I think, swinging it over. Uh, how do I move it? Oh, dear. Um, I don't actually know how to do this because of where the conveyor belts are. Um, moving them round and getting the right one is going to be extremely tricky. Let me count. So we got, uh, I need to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we got 13 conveyor belts. So I want to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm hoping that will allow me, yes, there we go. That will allow me to move that one. So then I can put that one there. I can pull that one back so that the load point is underneath. There we go. You've got to get the load point in exactly the right spot. Now, the rest of them should be in the right place. And there they go. You can see it moving now. It's coming through. This is going to take a long, long time. And that one's already moved out of position over there and that's because the combine is in the wrong place so the combine can stay where it is i don't really mind about that one and we can just <laughs> oh that is brilliant okay let's go and move that combine just a little bit so that it's back in the right place there and then it should all start moving i just want to bring that one forward a tiny bit i think actually that there seems to be yes that's perfect come out of here and then we can run along so we've got one little slug of corn coming all the way down here and then the rest of it is going to be following along behind in its own time this is brilliant i can lift up a little bit higher we'll be able to see it coming up through okay really it oop, i'm stuck on the fence there it, it's certainly going to take its time isn't it coming up through there so i mean that's what the visual is coming through on i don't know if if i was to try and play around with this and see if i could alter the game files themselves or maybe extract it because if, if i alter the game files then these will become faster the ones that we've already got in place whereas if i alter if i extract them and turn them into mods i would then have to rebuild all of this using mods rather than the one that we've got there so there goes the first lot into the trailer that's that little bit done there we go it's all gone in perfect and then along comes the next lot and this is a big long line of corn and it's working perfectly it's doing exactly what we wanted it to do it's just gonna take a little while to get there um and no i'm not gonna use one i was just thinking i could use one of those and do the cotton like that and do it with conveyor belts um i'm gonna have to make some serious changes to the mods in order to get the con the conveyor belts to do the cotton it's gonna be something like really extend the pickup for the small one on the ground and increase its capacity to i don't know 25 million liters or something like that and then pick it up doing that and maybe make that work but there we go it is all working we've got a huge great big long line right the way through and it's actually loading into the trailer so let's take a look here we've got 7,000 liters in here um that's really going to take a very, very long time to finish, isn't it? A very long time. 7,000 litres it had in there at the time uh, when we looked at it. It's still saying 0%. We come all the way down here. Let's just jump back into this field and we'll check the old combine here. It's down to 83,000. So we actually, it's got quite a bit has now gone on to the conveyor belts because I think we had like 100,000 litres to start with. So it is, it's getting there. It is slowly, slowly getting there. I'm just going to bring that one back, just nudge it back just a tiny bit. There we go. That should stay. So it's, yeah, it's still running fine. I'll turn that combine off a minute. So we're down to 70, yeah, 80,000 litres left. And right, now it's, it's moved. It, it does drift a little bit. 
So I just need to just nudge it forward a tiny bit. There. That's going to work. It's not actually um, affected it very much. But yeah, 75,000 litres. This one here is just turning around and that's going to carry on there. So it's actually this one is working on the same section that the top combine is working on. We've got that one there. That's the middle one. And we got this one up here. He has left a chunk there. Why would you turn around? Oh, because of the gap there. I see. Yeah, there was one little gap that got left. And I was never actually quite sure why. I think it was something to do with the field texture or something like that. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. So we've got 190,000 on this combine. Set down to 70,000. I'm quite pleased with that. I'm... Oh, I thought it stopped for a minute. I wondered what was going on. But no, it hasn't stopped. It's carrying on. It's continuing. This one is doing an excellent job. This has got the really, really long runs on field 18. Then we've got these four working inside field 15 here. And they're slowly actually getting close to each other. We can now see all the way around we can sort of see all the way around this field so we're, we're starting to get an idea that they will eventually sort of close up on each other completely but that is the end of this week near well we've got a little while to go yet but um as we're approaching the end of this week next week when we start up again it's glitching at the moment because it's still loading this map and then once it's loaded it should smooth out again once we get back to um you know, once we come back next week this will be finished, but I'll also know which of these two fields you want me to plant. So we're going to get some barley into two of these, maybe even three, and we're going to start working on whichever field we do down here. And so we get the barley started on there. We've got the corn being planted on here at the moment. I've got that combine working up there, and as soon as that field up there is finished, I'm going to bring that combine down here, and I'm going to start putting that one on. See, I might not. I'm thinking that we've... I mean, I was talking about using like 10 combines on this field, and we'll probably increase the number. But first of all, we're going we're gonna to be looking at these conveyor belts. That's what that's going to be my main priority for next week is to look at the conveyor belts and see what I can do with those to see if I can make them faster and more impressive. Because at the moment, it's, you know, quite frankly, it's a little bit slow. It's not very interesting. Um, there's a lot of room for improvement on that bit. So we just go through and check all of our tractors a minute, see how they're doing with the turns. I was doing just fine. And that one there. Nobody looks like they've got any imminent collisions turning up or anything like that. And you are there. So we've got that combine there. This one is down to 50,000 litres. I need this one to empty out, actually, before it will unfold. So this one does have to empty before we can start combining with it. So we're just going to leave that one going there. And I want to get to, not you, 47,000 in there. It'll be good to get a little bit of grain into the pigs, at least. And I want to go and I want to check. The big bud has... Well, he's, he's turned around several times by this point. There's a pig on the back. They've climbed up onto the trailer. That's brilliant. Uh, no, this was the one I wanted to check on. I want to see how we're doing with our field up here. Only 30k. It doesn't seem to be doing a very good job. This is... Well, it doesn't seem to be doing it very fast. Let's try just speeding it up to 40 and see what it does. I mean, it was leaving little bits behind, wasn't it? And I think this is too much. We don't we don't want to be leaving too much behind. I don't like the idea of leaving loads of um, stuff behind. I also need to seriously think about what I'm going to do. And you can see it just kind of glitching a little bit. I think it's where some of the machines are turning and trying to um, you know figure out the the path that they're taking. And that's what's making it jerk a little bit here. Um, and also because the you know we're facing into town, so our frame rate has dropped. Um, although with the number of workers we've got at the moment, um, the frame rate hasn't really gone above 40 for this whole episode. Uh, I don't think it's gone above 40 all of this week, to be fair. Uh, yeah, that's that's slowing down a little bit too. That's not doing it well enough. So we'll, we'll go down to 35k. This field's going to take a little while. I'm starting to think that we'll go for a bigger... Maybe we'll pull out of this field. Because uh, I got two... Yeah, we'll, we'll run down to the end of this field. We'll run down to the end here. We'll change over. We'll run this down to the pigs and we'll put that in because the pigs have got at the moment, um, they've got 462,000 here of wheat. So they've got loads of wheat anyway. They, they've got plenty of that. And then I could actually put this combine, I could either stick this one into the corn and I could have it assisting with the corn or I could drop it straight into the soybeans because the soybeans, we're actually going to need those. Our protein down to 3% means that we are going to need more protein fairly soon. 
So I think we'll wait for this one to get down there and then we'll run it over to the pigs, we'll empty it out into the pigs and then we will teleport over into the soybean field and we will start harvesting soybeans over there. I want to know also if we can harvest that at more than 35k because if we can, ideal, it's brilliant, it'll start filling up a little bit faster. Um, if not, well, that's with something that we're just going to have to live with, isn't it? So um, we'll sort of see how that goes. Now, we've got to remember also that this is fertilized, whereas the other fields weren't. So um, we do see it, it does seem to be um, increasing quite a bit, the amount that we're actually pulling off this field. And it's because of the fact that we are um, we're doing fertil fully fertilized land at the moment rather than non-fertilized land. Right, that's that done there. So then we go 9, and then we go F11, and we jump down here to the pigs like this. Close that one down. I'm going to open that spout out there. And then I come... Oh, helper E and helper J have come to grief against each other. So I bring this one round, and I'm just going to empty. This should empty out pretty quick now, because I altered the speed at which it unloads. But before, it was painfully slow how it was unloading. Um... 200 odd thousand. It's still quite slow, isn't it? Right, we'll let that one unload a minute and then I need to go up here because we've got two of our sea drills have um, collapsed against each other. That has stopped, which means I think that the combine has drifted away. Yes, it has. That's what's happened. The combine has just drifted ever so slightly. It does this. I've noticed when they're unloading into the pigs, they do tend to drift around. So let that carry on there. We need a different way of... Well, I suppose if I'm able to alter the mod or alter this in the game files, we, we might... But we'll see. This will this will be next week. So I want to keep going this way. So that one's fine. That one's fine. There we go. I see what you've done here. I see what you've done. So if I go on to H on there and I back you up a little bit like that, that one will go through. These are the two that got hooked up last time, aren't they? Yeah, they are. They're definitely. This is definitely the two that got hooked up last time. Right, so the John Deere will perform its turn and it will go that way. And then this Smart Tracks here can start heading over that way on the field here. Um, yes, that is my plan, I think, for next week. I'm going to attempt to modify game files in order to see what else we can do with those conveyor belts. I would like them to run faster. I don't want really to turn them into a mod. I'm also going to try and find if I can... And create a mod out of game files but that's a different um, kettle of fish uh, but yeah if I can modify the game files themselves so that I can change the existing conveyor belts I can make them faster to drive around which would be a lot more useful you don't need to be like really ch change them up to like 30k instead of 5k something like that um, that is just it's gonna make life a lot easier for us if I do that because we can move them around a little bit faster what is that guy <laughs> Okay, um, that doesn't seem quite right to me. I'm pretty... Yes, I, I appreciate you want to sort of lean out to the side there to see what's going on. But quite frankly, that looks a little bit weird. And I was thinking of doing like the conveyor belts again for my screenshot. But I think actually that's got to be our screenshot there. What is she doing? That is very... I don't know if this is going to show up very well for the screenshot. But I'm hoping it will. Because that is just brilliant. This vehicle here does seem to be a little tiny bit glitchy. Oh, it's 20 frames a second, that's why. Um, let's try going from the back. That's not glitching around so much, but yeah, that is very strange. That is very, very, that is very weird. Okay, <laughs> I like that. Um, so yeah, we've, oh, that is all emptied out now, so we can get that one started, and actually the wheat barley is almost completely full, so we want to move this one over into the, um, the soybeans but we'll actually I can start that one now and then it will carry on next week so we're gonna move this one over into soybeans and we're gonna start she you we will just start here in this corner right next to the pigs we do that bring that up a bit and yeah so I am going to venture into the dangerous territory uh, of modifying the game files for your enjoyment I'm doing this for you ladies and gentlemen you are the ones that are going to benefit from this. Nobody else. No one else is going to benefit from me haltering these files. Well, maybe I will, but um, yeah, it's going to be a learning experience. So I'll make sure I back it all up. And hopefully it'll mean that we can move, get those conveyors like unloading faster and moving faster along the ground. That sort of thing. I think it could be really, really interesting to do. So we'll see how that works out next week. I've got no idea. Um, 
Right, I can't do anything with you until you've unfolded. Right, why aren't you on... Oh, there we go. Now it's unfolding at last. Right, it's done. Now this one will start up, and it's away. Excellent. Straight out of the track, and it's whoosh. So it's spreading... Oh, yes, we got the chopped straw on the map, haven't we? Uh, so that is spreading chopped straw on here. Um, anyway, my question for this week is what would you like me to do? Uh, which field would you like me to um, plant with barley? Would you like it to be field 13 or would you like field 9? I realise, I apologise there's not really much of a question this week. Um, you know, that's uh, something I probably could have decided for myself. But uh, I felt that, you know, it would be something that would give you some involvement into where we're putting things on the map. Because I know that some of you do like to have input on that as well. Um, uh, so, yeah. Do you, want, do you want barley plant in field 13 or do you want barley plant in field 9? It's your vote, it's your game. Head in the comment section down below, let us know which one you want and why. And of course, don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right-hand corner. And if you enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give me a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And I'm just going to watch this one come up to this end of the field and turn because there was a little issue with this one right in this corner that we didn't own the field and I haven't gone and bought field 7 there's only that little tiny spot right there which I don't think it's going to be I don't think it's going to be an issue but I did try speeding it up there you've seen further back and it didn't like it at all so we're going to have to leave this one at 35k whizzing along in the field there I want to go back through here and I want to see how our conveyor belts are doing right before we go that's got a hundred thousand liters of something in it this one here is empty. It's done it at last. Okay, so we can just put this one going right before I... Well, actually, I'm, I'm going to just back this one into position because you know I'm going to save and exit as soon as I've said goodbye. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Rithgar. Goodbye and see you later.